Yo, all right, so I already dropped a tutorial today, and um, I was actually getting ready to shut my uh, my computer down and all that, and I thought I would actually just do one last thing, and I thought I would just show you something that is like an extremely, uh, in my opinion, it's like a, an insanely beneficial uh, tip, uh, trick, you know, whatever you want to call it for FL Studio that really improves the speed and workflow inside of FL Studio. And it just becomes so helpful. And I didn't know it for the longest time. And so I thought I should definitely share it with you guys. And I still know a lot of people that don't know know it until I said something to them. And I did it by accident. So some of you out there may, may know this, and but I know for sure that there's probably a lot that don't. So I thought I would share this with you guys. And it has to do with like organization and like I said, just workflow and making things easier for yourself. So, so here I just kind of created a dummy, um, a quick dummy, you know, uh, whatever you call it, uh, project, right? So let's go back to the uh, play, the song, the playlist, or not the playlist, whatever the, uh, you know, the song area. Anyway, so let's say let's say you have your tracks like this and let's say you know you you made a hi-hat you know just to get a little rhythm down with the snare and then you wrote some really nice piano parts or or let's say this is even how a friend sent you a collab right and so let's say the 808 is just what you started adding to it but if you're like me i like to keep my stuff kind of organized so i can tell where things are and what things are and um and so i can move them if i wanted to copy you know these two or let's say I want to add the drum parts a second time. I could just do that real quick, right? Well, then it becomes I have to do it a, th a second time here if I want to move the 808. And it gets really annoying. What I just want to move them together. So instead of doing this and holding shift and then moving them together, I would just rather hold control and just move them all at one time like this, right? So a, a, this is it. You guys ready for this? If you just hover, whatever you hover over and you hold shift, and use the scroll wheel on your mouse, you can move anything around your track. So I thought that was pretty cool. Um, so if you're 808s here and you wanna keep it organized, you just boom, move your track like that. And then now I could just, you know, I can always, everything's together. I know all my drums are in red, so I can always just move those together, right? So pretty cool. Now it even works this way inside the everything. So let's say I wanna put my 808 and I want everything to reflect the same way. So wherever my eyes are looking at, it's like I don't have to think about it. I just know everything is, and I can work faster. So let's say my 808 down here. Same thing. I just hold shift, use the scroll wheel, and I can move it right up. Same thing in the um, in the mixer. If I just hover over this channel, I can use the scroll wheel up, and then I can just move it wherever I want, just like that. Now, another cool thing about this is let's say, um, let's say you compressed your 808, right? So we'll just pull up a compressor. And, you know, you did your thing on it, whatever, you know, you know, whatever you did on it, right? You compress it and you're like, damn, the lows are, it's compressing the lows too much now, which, you know, and then you try to EQ it. And let's say you did like a low pass or a high pass and, you know, whatever the order, whatever. And you just wanted to cut off just a little bit. Um, well, uh, what you could do, let's say, let's say you wanted the EQ to come before the compressor. Same thing, you just hold shift and you just hover over the, the EQ and just move it upwards. So you can move it anywhere. And this to me was like, man, when I was first starting out and I was using FL Studio, I was like, damn, that's so gay. I can't fucking move the compressor up above the, you know, I mean the, you know, the compressor above the EQ or vice versa, whatever was in here, you know, I wanted to reorganize my effects chain because, you know, obviously effects are, you know, go um, in order, you know what I mean? So. It really pissed me off. I would have to be like, oh, replace, you know, none, and I have to go back up here, replace, compressor, and then do the EQ here, you know what I mean? So it was, like, really annoying, you know? And uh, But, yeah, so shift, hold shift, and hover over anything, and you can move it around. So I thought that was a pretty cool uh, trick. Now, another thing I just wanted to share with you that was really, um, you know, bothered me a lot. It was crazy, and, and shout out to MJ for, MJ Nichols for, you know, giving me the, the heads up about this, and I thought I would share it with you guys too. So, um, if you, let's say you're collabing with someone, and you're, you know, you're, let's say a couple notes were off in the piano that your friend sent you, and you wanted to get the, the MIDI keys, or the, the MIDI notes for the piano, it, let's say, so you double click on the piano, 
um, and let's say you want to, let's say your friend sends you the MIDI file, right? And so let's say it's on your desktop. A quick way to get it in there so you don't have to waste time is hold control and then hit M and then it pulls up a dialog box like this. So now I can go to wherever I saved it, um, you know, and boom, there it is. I have the MIDI files that fast. So I thought that was pretty cool. And let's say um, you're you're the uh, on the other side. Let's say you want to export this. Let's say you fix the note. You want you moved it around. You're like, oh, this one's supposed to be here, and this is the note that was bad. So I moved it down there. Let's say now you want to export it to send it back to your friend. You just highlight everything, all the notes in the piano roll, hold Control, and then this time hold Shift, and then hit M. And now you'll see that instead of open we have an option that says save here. So we can, you know, retitle it and say new MIDI, um, like this, click desktop, you know, wherever you want to save it and then save it. And you'll see that on the desktop we have, um, where is it? Did I even save it? Here it is right here. So new MIDI, there it is and it works. So if we go back here and let's say this wasn't here, <laughs> Again, control M instead of holding shift, just control M to open and then control shift to export. So we just go to desktop, we locate it, new MIDI, there are the notes, like how we saved it. So those are just a couple quick, uh, quick tips, guys, and I hope this could help you in your workflow. And I hope it's, uh, I hope it serves you as well as it has for me. And uh, yeah that's about it so if you like if you guys like this video man it helps me a lot you know please you know shoot a thumbs up definitely subscribe to the channel always gonna try to be dropping videos on just shit like this you know mixing vocals all kinds of stuff and um, definitely you know dedicated to trap and and rap and all that good stuff and <clears throat> and uh, yeah so that's about it so I uh, appreciate you guys appreciate you guys time and your support and I'll catch you on the flip man take it easy peace